But why would our minds want to allow us to do that? Because if we were able to see beyond this life, all of us, we would all start working together. We would need governments because we understand the governments are there to control us in the first place, to divide, to design order between us, to separate us, to create controversy, to create evil, darkness, generate hate, generate stress, worry, generate jealousy. These jealousy, you know, the governments are there to separate us, to create this divine distraction from our true originality, which is love, happiness, joy, infinite possibilities, infinite awareness, infinite happiness. Some of us might say, no, we need governments because we all, there's evil in the world and we need to be controlled and we need to be, uh, we need to be, you know, but the only evil exists because of this controlled agenda, the program, which is putting our, um, our awareness our from the mind into controversy into a state of like a battlefield it's almost like our our true unique life force is love happiness positivity infinite awareness infinite um div divinity which has been used in the human um capsule <laughs> in the human capsule and then to generate uh separation from well not necessarily separation to generate energy within this capsule you plant a mind you know you plant it with a mind and then you convince that capsule everything that it's not and and then in that capsule the energy starts to boil it starts to generate heat it starts to generate a sense of energy because it's convinced that it's not natural it's not true it's not love it's not happiness it's it generates force it generates energy because it's convinced of untrue of its untrue nature it's, it's generally what our existence is if you can convince someone and take them away from their originality and take them away from their divine truth you can con consume that energy and if we all awaken from the uh, separation of, you know, it's not even that. If we all just connect to our hearts and stop thinking with our minds, how do we stop thinking with our minds? Is actually just start learning how to think from the heart. How do we think from the heart? Learn what the mind is using against us. What are we doing that is making us lose control? What are we doing that doesn't make us feel good? If we actually start to learn what, what the mind's using against us, we can start to learn how to take control of the mind. Oh, yeah, we're not doing fitness. Let's do some fitness. And then the mind says, oh, shit, he's caught on. He's doing fitness now. <laughs> what else can we use against him? Quick, quick, quick. You know, the mind's not that intelligent. The technology that's controlled, that's brought the mind into the bubble, or that's controlled, is advanced. But where we can learn how to like get on top of the mind you know we can learn like oh yeah you know and i'm oh, just doing fitness now oh let's let's make him let's manipulate him through his food quick 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 you know and then you're like fuck i feel real shit after eating that food and i'm eating it all the time it's making me feel really bad it's making me feel aggressive let's clean up the diet let's eat healthy now i'm feeling good i'm feeling good you know oh shit 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 you know what else can we use? A workplace, you know, let's bring some... If these people created this, um, you know, illusion, it can use people to come into our lives as well, by the way, to manipulate us and to affect us. And then we start finding, you know, you know, and slowly, slowly, we're generating enough uh, vibration to start to awaken the heart, to start to listen to the heart, you know, through self-love, learning how to love the self, starting to take care of the self, we're generating enough life force that we're actually expanding beyond the the the, the controlling mind's um, uh, energy fields, and we're actually expanding and expanding out. Then we can actually start seeing the bigger picture. Uh, I'll go into one more video because we haven't really quite wrapped up. But yeah, we can start to see the bigger picture. We can start to perceive life from much more of a cosmic uh, level than such a, you know, an isolated point of attention.